Hi everyone! So I am now on my way to the Mezzanine Cafe. So in this video, I'll be showing to you the behind the scenes in our hands-on small coffee business training that we do at the Mezzanine Cafe every month. Okay, so we're now done with our hands-on small coffee business training here in the cafe and I'll be reading their answers to the feedback forms and um, uh, first question here is did the hands-on training meet your expectation share your experience so one shared here yes because they teach us all the different kinds of methods and how to brew and make high quality kind of products and also our instructor is very approachable and friendly I'm so touched so actually in the hands-on training we also it's really hands-on because you would be um, making coffee from the hand brewing methods so i think it's also one of the things that they really appreciate no because they can really make the coffee from scratch like really from beans up to their cup another one here answered yes and it even exceeded my expectations i really appreciate that miss face knowledge and ability to explain to us the fundamentals and the handouts are also appreciated guys. <laughs> I read it here and yeah we also give out handouts no to all our um, trainees in the hands-on small coffee business training here in the mezzanine another one is yes this training helped me understand and appreciate coffee making the instructor and her staff were all very helpful patient and friendly which made the training more interactive and enjoyable. Thank you so much. Yun, Keith. Yeah, and then uh, second question is that I asked them which part of the training you found most valuable and why. So I'll be running through their answers. Actually, the we have um, around four major parts or five major parts actually of the training. First is I usually do introduction to coffee history, um, coffee extraction, part of the types of beans and all else, no, just really coffee background, the necessary ones you need to know as a coffee business owner. Then I now demonstrate and we also do the hands-on um, brewing methods uh, and that's a time that they really get their hands on the machine or in the tools no, that for their coffee. Then the third part would be, um, I, I now discuss on the costing, um, the pricing, you know, and how can they um, position themselves in their small coffee business so it can still be profitable. Fourth one is, ito, I think it's the most part, is a part na medyo nag enjoy sila because they, um, they now do different recipes. So I give them recipe templates, and then from that recipe template, they'll be able to make a lot of coffee. So we actually have many um, sauces, no? If you could see there, sa liquid. We do provide them all the sauces and the powders. And then from the recipe template, they'll be able to do um, different types of coffee. We also, uh, and then sometimes they're also shocked na we also share how to make milk tea, fruit tea, no? And also cold brew, and that's part of the training. So, and the fifth part is, there na I share about choosing a supplier and then the supplier na Cebu based 
that is really very helpful for them as they are still starting out. Kasi very important yung suppliers because sometimes you would need the suppliers na of good quality and then the cheaper the cheaper ones so that you won't be um, spending too much on your cost you no know, and you can make the most out of your um, investment for your business so which part of the training you found most valuable so one answer here is definitely the hands-on training and the costing very helpful and practical and essential knowledge in starting a small coffee shop nice then the most valuable training to me is on how to make cold brew and hot brew because i want to upgrade my store that's why it is valuable to me so we actually have a student or training trainee today na meron na siyang milk tea shop and then uh, he joined because he want to add um, coffee sa milk tea shop niya and yeah i'm happy to know na he found probable Next, someone answered here, the hands-on part was very helpful because we all got to try making different kinds of drinks instead of just watching the instructor do demonstration. demonstration. So the provision of guidelines, recipes, and suppliers is also a very helpful part of this training. Yeah, I'm glad that they appreciate. For me, kasi it's different when you really learn, no? Um, practical talaga and you put your um, hands-on. Kaya nga hands-on yung tawag, charot. Next is somebody answered here, the most valuable part of the training is the hands-on portion since learning would be better if done on-site and guided by the trainer and assistant. See? Validated. You seen that earlier. <laughs> then, last one, costing, brewing, recipe, and the most important part in opening a business. Okay, so there, there's their um, feedback for today's coffee training. So, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that they enjoyed and it met their expectations so to everyone watching if you're interested to join our hands-on small coffee business training here at the mezzanine cafe i put in the link below in the description box where you can join and see for yourself also and learn how to make coffee from scratch through the manual brewing methods right thank you so much for watching see you in my next video guys bye